Hello Legends, this is Shadow Hunter and welcome back to a brand new Apex Legends tips and tricks video. Today we will be talking about 5 biggest and the most crucial tips and tricks to help you rank up fast in the new Apex Legends rank mode. I will also be explaining how the rank point system works in season 2. Make sure to like and subscribe guys and comment any other tips that you have that can help the fellow legends. So without further ado, let's go to number one, the first tip. Master the system. If you want to begin the long journey towards the top rank legends, you'll have to start at bronze four. Work your way to bronze number one and then do the same through the silver, gold, platinum and the diamond ranks. The final rank legend is the Apex Predator is the only one not divided into four tiers. So you rank up by earning ranked points and the scoring is pretty simple. Each kill gives you one rank point, maximum of five per match. You got top 10 placement, you get two rank points. And if you get into top five placement guys, you'll get four rank points. Top three placement, will net you sweet 7 rank points and a win legend will give you 12 rank points. The rank points awarded for placement don't stack, that is you won't get 12 rank points for a win plus 7 rank points for placing in the top 3 and so on. So that means the maximum number of points that can be earned in one match is 17 rank points for 5 kills and a sweet sweet win. You also have to spend rank points to play the ranked mode guy legends and the cost increase with each rank, making progression harder. So a bronze in the bronze rank mode it's free to enter. In silver rank modes you have to pay one rank point. The gold will you have to pay two rank point fee, platinum three rank points, diamond four rank points, and epic predator will cost you five rank points points guys as an example so you earn enough rank points to earn to rank as gold 2 the second highest gold tier if you play a ranked match and score two kills but don't place in the top 10 you would net zero rank points for that match if you don't if you didn't score any points at all you would lose the two rank points in three feet this is really important guys because to rank up fast you need those rank points. By losing rank points, it is possible to drop the tiers. You might go from gold 2 to gold 3, for instance, but you cannot drop all the way down to a lower rank. Once you're in gold legends, you'll stay in gold, unless you reach, obviously, platinum. Number 2, be prepared to push up. Rank mode is hard guys, this is like going to the next level, so you have to be mentally, be prepared to fight extra, to be extra vigilant, to get those kills that you normally don't get and you have to try harder on in basically building more of your skills and be prepared for a harder match because this mode is hard, you start in bronze don't be expecting an easy ride guys, everybody is trying their best to rank up. So from the first match, be prepared for the battle. Number 3, use your main or the best legend. You got a main, you know his tips and tricks, you know how the legend works, you know how to bamboozle your enemies, you know how to smoke your enemies, you know how to basically run away from them or do whatever you want to do with your main legend. Use that legend. If someone else picks that legend, use the second best legend that you've got. Don't just go trying on legends that you are not comfortable with or you don't know much. This is very crucial guys because if you get the best legend that you've got, you got automatically you have a very good chance in doing really really good in a rank mode and doing good in a rank mode match will obviously rank you faster. 
play with your best squad if possible or same rank friends. So what you need to do, don't worry too much about if you are playing with your best squad, that's good. The squad, the players, that the members that you know each other, how you guys play, that's great. But don't worry too much if you know if your friends are not online, go ahead, play the rank matches, get used to it and the matchmaking will take care of finding the best player for your squad and that match the matchmaking i personally think has improved and very very much and this is quite nice that like-minded and like skilled matches are played and legends are played so this is a good advantage don't be afraid of if you if you're on your own or missing a player go ahead play that rank match your squad will still be strong and playing more rank matches will rank you up fast number four Use the new map for your advantage. The King's Canyon is still new legend and a lot of legends are getting used to it and familiarizing themselves with the changes to the map. You can use this to your advantage guys. Land at one of your favorite new spots and learn it quickly like a back of your hand. Keep practicing landing there with your squad and creating a strategy or a pattern to attack and defend against the enemies. Another big big advantage that will help you rank for, rank really really fast is you should be using the ring damage. The ring is now a heavy guys and when I say heavy I mean super heavy. Make sure to keep on the edge of it and not to be outside of the ring. Fighting in the ring or I mean outside the ring seriously hurts guys and if you find yourself in a heavy fight among 3-4 squads fighting outside the ring don't be afraid to run in the ring and finish the fight in the ring as all the other enemies probably have quite a low health giving you those sweet sweet extra rank points that you crucially need so with the ring be aware of the ring guys and use the ring for your advantage number five improve your communication skills guys as it's a ranked match and highly intense games you need to make sure you have all the knowledge and information that you need to kill your enemies. This is super crucial between your squad and you should communicate to tell each other about low HP enemies, new enemies position, attachments that you need for your guns, ammo, etc. and all of your strategy. Not a lot of people still use mic for communication. In ranked games, they, use, they are still relying on the ping system. But if you guys communicate through the microphone, that gives you the extra edge to get those kill, the rank points instead of the other squad. And the rank points is what gonna get you rank up fast in season two. So that's all for today, guys. That's all my guide to how to rank up fast in Apex Legends Season 2. I hope you guys um, find this informative and let me know what rank are you in in comments below. Thank you very much for watching Legends. Make sure to like, subscribe.